I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a map of all the missions in California. I take one finger way up here on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a wavy line down, wavy line in, wavy line down, wavy line in, wavy line down, off the page. I come up to the right hand side and I'm just going to draw a straight line down, big straight diagonal down, off the page. I come back over here on the lower left and I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, triangle, 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 north, south, east, west. This is my compass rose. All right. This space over here it's Nevada, but it's not even discovered yet as far as a state. But we're just going to put Nevada so that you realize that that's what this line and mark and location is. And this whole area is extremely important. This is the Pacific Ocean. And that is important because that's how the Spanish designated where the missions were going to be. They needed ports. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Okay. Come down here to the very bottom, and this is going to be our symbol for a mission. It's going to be a small rectangle with a straight line and a straight line. And this is Mission San Diego. Now, I am not going to list the missions by their total names, because some of them go on forever. So I'm just going to give you a smaller version of their names. This is San Luis Rey. And like I said also, notice that they're, they're working their way up the coast. Next, rectangle, straight line, straight line, San Juan, Capistrano. Then we come inland a little bit, up and over, small rectangle, straight line, straight line. This is San Gabriel. San Gabriel. And a little bit inland also, and this, is, this mission is closest to me, is the San Fernando mission. San Fernando. Okay. Then we flip over to a port again, and this rectangle, straight line, straight line, is San Buena, Buena Ventura. That's a beautiful mission. I've been to that one. And then up a little ways, straight line, straight line, is Mission Santa Barbara. And inland a little bit, rectangle, one, two, is Santa Inez. Now these aren't exact. If you're doing a map like I am right now, and I'm doing it freehand, it's not going to be exact. So anybody who goes, well, that's not where it is, guess what? I'm doing the best I can. Rectangle, straight line, straight line. This is La Purissima. And like I said, I'm not putting the whole thing, the whole name, because they go on forever. Okay, rectangle, straight line, straight line. This is San Luis, San Luis Obispo. Come in a little bit. Rectangle, straight line, straight line. This is San Miguel. Keep going back over here towards the coast. Rectangle, straight line, straight line. We have San Antonio, Antonio Padua. 
Okay, come in. Rectangle, straight line, straight line. We have Mission to Soledad. Soledad. Let's come back over here towards the ocean. Here's Carmel. Up a little ways. Rectangle, straight line, straight line. It's Santa Cruz. Whoops. There should be a Z. Up a little bit more. Straight line, straight line. This is San Francisco. There's two San Francisco's. This is the one closest to the city. And then up here, rectangle, one, two, straight lines is San Rafael. Now we come in and we'll do a rectangle, straight line, straight line. And this is San Francisco Solano. San Francisco Solano. And right about here, baby rectangle, straight line, straight line, is Santa Clara. And if I can squeeze one more, it should be right here. Let's put baby rectangle, straight line, straight line, and this, of course, it has a long name. Let's go into Nevada. This is San Juan Batista. B-A-U. Batista. Okay. Let's see if we have 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I think that's right. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I knew I'd forget one. Let's right about here, let's draw a rectangle. Straight line, straight line. And it's San Jose. How could I forget San Jose? San Jose. Okay, that should be all of them. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we've talked about this before, but when you color a map in, you don't color very much. Some of you might be excited about that. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my red and color in my triangles on my compass rows. Got to have a compass rows so that you know what you're looking at. Okay. Then I took yellow orange and I colored in this space, which is eventually going to be Nevada. But right now isn't anything to have to do with the mission. So I'm just going to color this yellow orange so that you can see that this is a, a different space. Then it is the ocean. So I'm just going to do with blue green turquoise. I'm just going to do some curved lines. Jump over. Don't draw through your drawing. Don't draw through your labeling and just put in the ocean. Very important because, as probably you already know, a lot of the missions are right on the coast so that they could come in and put their supplies in and yet also pick up stuff. The bottom part of the rectangles, I'm going to do brown. And like I said, there should be 21 missions. You can count all these, and if they're not 21, that's the big mystery, and you can try and figure out if I missed one, but I think I got them all. So I'm just going to color in these little baby rectangles so I know that this is where the, the missions are. And you can see they're pretty plentiful. The Spanish and the missionaries went all the way up the coast. And then went inside. Next, I'm going to take my yellow and I'm just going to draw a curved line around my crosses, my straight line, straight lines. Because this represents the missions as religious places, churches. And this was 
so that the Spanish could, oops, I forgot, San Jose again. This was so that they could colonize the area and try to make the Indians go and become Catholics. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, so here are the 21 California missions um, from the 18th century is when they started the late 18th century. They were all 30 miles apart, one day's journey on horseback. And look how many there were. Okay, bye-bye.